hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel as you see i am currently sizing my sister's nails she sent me like the penny method she didn't have a dime so she sent me like a penny method and right now as you see what i'm doing is i take the penny and make sure that it's the same size as the penny Ugh, this is just moving all over the place put the penny on top and make sure it fits the penny it doesn't go out or in it's like the perfect size and then I go ahead and put the tip on top of her nail I apply a little pressure because when you apply the tip it's do you see her finger it looks a slightly bigger her fingernail looks slightly bigger, but I feel like the four is gonna fit that finger perfect. So that's what we're gonna go for. I already sized the thumb, the index, the middle finger, and that is the ring finger. And now we're going for the pinky, but I am looking at the pictures and she didn't quite send me the best pictures for the pinky. I am just gonna assume, let's see. As you see, the penny is all the way over here. Maybe if I put the phone sideways, this would give me a better view. Let's see. Still, as you see, the penny is still so small and her pinky is missing. So I'm just going to have to guess her pinky size or give her two different pinky sizes for her to work with she has her she did get acrylics done as you see she has acrylics on right here so we're just gonna size her thumb out sorry that's too big Still too big, a little too small. Okay, that looks about right. So we're gonna go right in and size it. Now the biggest size I have of these beetle nails are a zero, but if I file the top to make it more of a square shape, because as you see, she has more of a square shape at her cuticle area. So I file that down into a cuticle. I mean, into a square shape, it should fit her fairly good when she presses the press on nail down. So I'm gonna go with the zero. And so this is what she really wants. This is her, the look that she's going for. So I'm gonna create something similar, but of course, I oh, don't wanna do that. Of course, I'm gonna do my style, but I love these colors and I am excited to do this set for her. So we're just gonna go ahead and get a pinky size again. Like I said, I'm just gonna guess her size. I'm sure she's around my size. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a three and a two, oh, not a three, an eight and a seven for her. So that way she has two different sizes to go for. So I'm just gonna grab all the sizes and I'll be right back. All right, now that we have the nails, um filed at the top of the cuticle and at the tip i placed them on the nail stand i also have these extra ones that i'll be giving her so i'll have that on the side but this is the colors i am using i'm gonna go ahead obviously base coat top coat and then go in with the peachy nude color for the one that has the nails that have the design on it then we're gonna go in with the green and the white for line for the line design and also 1472 i'm not sure if I'm, I'm gonna use this one but i think i want to use all three colors for the design is not exactly like the picture but i do want to try something different so these are the colors i'm going to use as you see on the design nail the under base coat is more of a nude neutral peachy nude and I feel like this color would be perfect for that. So that's why I chose this one and I hope it comes out good. I don't have anything more translucent. So I'm not going to put a lot of layers on this, on the nail with this color. But I absolutely love this set and I can't wait to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and buff the nails all off. Well, not all off, but I'm going to buff the, um, 
the top of the nail and then so that way I can apply the base coat and then from there I'll start the nail design if you are still here I appreciate you welcome to my channel thank you for watching and if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel I would truly appreciate it and also don't forget to press that like button and like the video so I just want to show you quickly how I buffed the nails. I went ahead and did these and now I'm just doing the last three. So what I do is just grab a buffer and lightly just buff the top of the nail. Just so that way the base coat has something to adhere to properly. And so that way there's no chipping. The more you, the more you buff, it will cause the paint to chip so you just want to do it lightly I like these stands so much better um, I just feel like they hold the nail tip so much more like with these when I'm buffing the nail I tend to have to like apply pressure on the top of the nail so that way it doesn't go flying off maybe it's the putty that i use but i actually love these nail stands a little asmr and there you have it so we have buff those off and then what we're going to do is grab an alcohol pad with like a no lint wipes and just spray some alcohol and we're just going to clean off that dust off the nails. We, won't, we don't want dust when we apply that base coat because then it just creates little um, ridges and little bumps on the nails and that's just not pretty so you just want to make sure you clean it all off on the tip and the cuticle underneath get all that dust off now we're just going to apply the base coat and apply a nice even layer on all the nail tips Now, I love Geo, Goye, however you pronounce this brand. I know I always incorrectly mispronounce it, but I have yet to be corrected. I asked, maybe the brand will one day send me a voice memo and tell me how to correctly pronounce their name. But as of yet, they haven't. So we're just going to keep mispronouncing the name. And then once we finish with this, we're just going to uh, put it under the nail lamp for 60 seconds. Now I only apply two layers of the base coat. Did I say two layers? I only apply one layer. I apologize if I said two. I only apply one layer of the base coat. And of the nail colors if it's not super pigmented i will apply three so it's usually two to three layers of the pigmented polishes and there you have it we have that now we're just gonna grab the gayo lamp let's move this a little bit over and we're gonna do it for 60 seconds Okay, we applied the base coat on all the nails. I'm just gonna put those to the side. I'm gonna do those last, but we're gonna go right in and start with the polish. Now, as you see, the thumb and the pinky, the thumb and the pinky are green. I don't know if this is exact green. It's not, this one's a little bit more deeper. But this is the green that I have. I don't believe I have any other green. So we're just going to go ahead and use this green. 
and then the index finger is white but I think I want to do the thumb maybe the lighter green and then do th some design as well on the thumb finger or the pinky finger I am not sure as I have the free will to do whatever but this is the info picture so I'm gonna go right into it And now with this, I'm gonna go in with two layers of each. As you see, it's not a super pigmented green. Really wish I had a deeper green, more of a forest green, but you know, I gotta work with what I have. Now I know I don't have that color, so now I know I would have to purchase it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do both pinkies. I'm probably going to need to do, apply three layers of this as it is not pigmented. But I really do like the color and I hope after three coats it becomes super pigmented. Now I don't like how some areas, like I want to make sure I put an even layer. I'm just going to do slightly like that and then I'm just going to go ahead and cure that. Okay, so I applied three coats to this tip and I actually really love the way the color came out. It's not like super deep green, but I actually love this color a lot more. So I'm happy with the outcome of this color. Now we're going to go in with that peachy nude color 1490 and we're gonna go in with on the two colors I mean the two colors the nude the two nail tips um, it's gonna be the ring finger and the middle finger so I absolutely love this color it is perfect I feel like it is a perfect neutral color and I am happy with it. I'm probably going to only apply two layers of this one, but I really love that. That is so pretty. I'm excited about how this is coming out so far and I haven't even got to the design part. So again, I'm going to cure this for about 30 seconds. Now the reason why they're not so pigmented because these are jelly gel polishes. They're more on the jelly side. They're not like super pigmented, but I love them. I honestly love the jelly gel polishes because the more layers you put, the more pigment it will be. But it's just something about the jelly gel polishes that I love so much. So if it's if jelly gel polishes is not your go-to, then I wouldn't suggest this brand, but they also do pigmented, like really pigmented gel polishes as well, but I do have a lot of their jelly gel polishes. So again, we're gonna go ahead and cure that. Okay, now I did two layers of this color and I absolutely love it. It is a perfect neutral peachy color. I love it and I think my sister's gonna love this color. Now we're going to go in with the white on the index finger. As you see, this is a more pigmented color. It's not a jelly color. But I still will go in with two layers. Oh, I see a hair. I see a hair, hair in the nail. So we're just going to wipe that. Don't mind my crusty nails. I literally just popped off some nails yesterday after the event I did. So my nails are looking a little crusty crust, but you know what? It is okay. I will be doing a video on trying to press on nails from Sally Hansen's event that I went to that we were gifted. And I am so grateful that they gifted us that because we worked the event and I got all these goodies. 
petal hair so I'm just gonna do that all right that in for 30 seconds as well and we're also gonna do two coats of this just want to make sure it's nicely even and not too much polish at the cuticle area and that's why I am polishing it over and I'm just gonna hold it that way down so that way it leveled itself and then we're just gonna cure that okay I know I did this off camera but this is something I came up with for the thumb and I actually love it what I'm gonna do is Put the white layer in the middle but I'm gonna cure these two first and then go ahead and show you how I did that so I go ahead and grab the light green I just kind of swirl it like so Making sure I do a nice even layer. And like make sure that it looks somewhat similar to the one other thumb. Now if you want to go ahead and clean those lines up, you can do that. I'll be right back okay I am back and I went to go look for my little cup now if you're someone like me that's a little OCD and likes to make sure that the lines are somewhat even just grab a brush and go ahead and clean up those lines I was able to do that line work fairly quickly without having to clean it up but the second time is always the one that you have to just try to clean up just so it can get it somewhat looking the same now I'm gonna go in with the green and kind of do the same thing Making sure that I just evenly distribute it into that area that I painted. Now obviously I would do more than one coat on this. But I really like this effect. I really didn't want to get like another green just neutral color I wanted more of a variety of color so that's what I did and now I'm just gonna cure that and apply another layer okay. the same thing on the other side if you hear me go silent it's because I am concentrating and making sure I don't mess up anything any line work anything so it is just me concentrating now what I'm going to do is just take another small liner brush and just kind of make sure I get it nice and even at the edges and now we're just gonna repeat the same process on the nail and I'll be right back okay now that we have those designs done we're gonna grab the white and I'm gonna grab this I'm gonna grab a little bit of the white put it in here Now I'm also going to use this white to do the line design on 
the middle finger and the ring finger. So I grabbed a good amount. Now this liner brush is a little too thin. I need something a little bit thicker so that way it can work a little faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one. Kind of see. I have a different one. I just feel like this is gonna be too messy. So I have this liner brush and there's just two hairs that are just kind of sticking out and I just want to remove that. Okay, I'm gonna get the brush nice and wet with the polish. And go ahead and start that liner design in the middle. really excited about this and how they're coming out and I cannot wait to get the designs on these nails but I really love the way that looks kind of considering considering of doing maybe another layer on this side of the green let's just put that in there 30 seconds go ahead and switch up the brushes and do the same thing on this side. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and cure that. And do the same thing all over again. Okay, we got those nails done. Now we're gonna go ahead and start the line work. to get the other nails line work to match <laughs> that's going to be the difficult part but i love that so we're just going to go ahead and cure that and i'm going to wait till that cures so i can look at it and make sure i get the line work very really similar to that Okay, now that we have two layers of that green, I'm going to go ahead and clean my brush and use the same brush to go in with that white. So here, I'm just going underneath that first line with the white polish and just trying to do it thin, but not too thin because I do want it to still pop, but not overshadow the green. Repeat the same thing on the other side. So just one pointer, I did not cure the first nail that I worked on when I did the white liner on the first nail tip which i should have because i was working super carefully um and not to like touch the white line and mess it up and have to redo it but i just figured why not get it all done in one sitting so that's why i didn't cure it so right now i'm just trying to be super careful and i apologize about getting off frame again sometimes when i'm doing like intricate 
artwork i try to like look at the nails really close and sometimes i just get off frame and i apologize for that again with the green and white line I'm gonna go in with that lime color and go ahead and do the same thing but I think I want to do it on the outside of the green yeah I like it that way better with three colors instead of two in my opinion. I'm gonna need a new brush because this brush is just not working for me right now. It's not, I don't know why, it's just not. fairly similar a little different but what do you guys think let me know all right I'm gonna go ahead and cure that now making sure I get every little piece on the edges of the tip making sure I like the line work before I go ahead and cure it so I'm gonna cure that and start with this one brush just fell right off my hand out of my hand I mean okay sorry again I am out of frame when I am trying to do any type of artwork I am like so close to the nails and then I'm just I'm just not being very mindful of the position my hands are I mean, all we have to do is one more line and then this is the final look of the swirls on the middle finger and the ring finger and I'm gonna go in with some top coat. Now this top coat of mine, I'm trying to use it to the last drop. As you see, I'm just like, literally was trying to get it all the juice. I have other top coats, even from this brand that I have, but I just want to use this. So I just apply that top coat, cure it for about 60 seconds. And then these are the nails with the top coat and I absolutely love the look of it. This is the design I first came up with, but then I switched it up. Keep watching for the final look. Okay, so today is another day, and I went ahead and finished the set. Now, um, I had two of the nail tips wrong, so I had to go ahead and fix it. So, as you see, I have these two extra ones, but I believe I am also going to give her two solid green thumbs because that was like in the photo so i'm gonna give her that as well but overall i gave her two extra pinkies and a size five and an extra four just in case 
when I'm done doesn't fit her middle finger or her index finger or even her pointer finger. So this is the set and then she's just gonna get those two extra ones because I actually messed up and switched the nails sizes around by accident. It wasn't the same nail sizes on each stand. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab two more of, of the zero sizes so I can give her a solid green thumb size as well. So all in all, she'll be getting uh, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, a 20 set. It was supposed to, I was just gonna do a 10 set and here I am making a 20 set for my sister. Um, I really hope she loves it <laughs> and she doesn't lose any because she was just like oh I love that you're giving me extra because I uh, what if I lose some and I'm like you better not I work so hard for what I do and I'm working so hard on your set this set is for her event she's going to Texas for an event for Herbalife um I'll add her Instagram handle right here so you can follow her she's a huge inspiration and in fitness so if you want to check her out i'll leave her link down below as well and so yeah let me get started with the thumbs okay guys so i stopped recording and worked on doing this i thought i was gonna do all green but i decided to give my sister some herbalife on the nails because this is the event she's going to the lettering is not perfect but this is my first time doing lettering on some tips and i think for my first time it came out great <laughs> um i know she's gonna love it she does not know i did that so it's gonna be a nice surprise so she these are gonna have like the extra tips she has like a whole pretty much a whole nother set so i'm so happy with the outcome of these nails and i can't wait to box them up but i need to get some double-sided tape so i'm just gonna go to the gym now and then go to the store get double-sided tape and then box these and ship them off to her i can go to orlando and just give it to her personally but that's a drive that i do not want to do just to give her these nails but i'm just gonna ship them out and they she should get them in the next couple days hopefully before her event but let me know what you guys think about this set down in the comments below if you are still here watching i truly appreciate your support and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video okay so now we have my sister's nails all nicely boxed i put four of the nails in here in this little ziploc baggie but i also have some extras in here and you'll see now so as you see this is the set how pretty did they come out they came out so pretty now as you see i have three extra ones on this side and then four in here not sure why i put so much tape but it is what it is it's a learning process but just wanted to show you guys the nails and the box and i love it can't wait for her to see it sorry i almost forgot so i'll be packaging it like this adding those extras and of course she'll be getting a kit that comes with it and i will also grab the application card because i can't forget that I almost did but can't forget as you see she has everything she needs a wooden stick gel some sticky tabs cuticle oil alcohol preps a filer and a buffer and a little mint for her but i'm going to grab those uh, um application card for her as well again thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next video bye when your sister taking care of you for your herbalife texas event says sis my nails they don't listen we need some press-ons we got to get with the press-ons right so it came in a little package like this que linda que linda and it came with it i haven't opened it yet i promise y'all and it came with the application tools the glue the press-on the buffer and a little mint que linda. Ay, que linda. and look at her little card it tells you the instructions on how to apply and remove but let's go ahead and open it yeah i want to look at it first Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see it. Oh, that's so nice! Look at I freaking, I knew she was gonna do something like that.